Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. If you watched my videos like two or three videos back, you'll have seen it's the video where I uh, introduced the new daily to the channel, the Diesel Civic, and explained that the inside of it is a bit of a mess on the outside. But what we're going to focus on today is getting the inside of it clean. It's leather seats, I've never cleaned leather before. Uh, we've got some auto glim stuff to try and sort that out. Um, so let's get cracking and um, first of all get a black bag and take all the crap, the solid crap out of it that won't fit in a vacuum cleaner. Where's your black bag gone? Okay, so what have we got? Oh, hello. That's a work top. That, that, I don't work there. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Is that a mat? Oh, G dolls. Oh, it's for a doll. I, I thought it were, I thought it were a mask. <laughs> Trick with these, if you don't want to keep the seats up, wrap the seat belt around. There you go. Now you can do what you need to do, which is quite a lot by the looks of it. An egg spatula. If that's watching this, mate, shame. Shame on you. Oh, it's empty. Uh, it's sticky. It's sticky in here. Uh, that's mould. It looks like a tea bag. Uh, oh, no. I'm not getting any more of that. Hey, up. Just looked inside the console. There's an instruction manual for the MP5 player, even though it went to MP5, which is that. Uh, touch screen in the middle, so that might help if we do swap it over to the other car. And the little remote, which I, I'm guessing is for that as well, because there's nothing else that's remote operated in there. So we'll keep those. No, no, there's some crap in here. There's some crap, I'm gonna bring it out. There's some crap, look, look. I'm only joking, calm down. Don't get your eco boost in a twist, flipping it. Right, so that's all the solid stuff out of the way now. So we'll uh, try and get a vacuum, see how far we get. When your wife molts, I'll be back. A spork. Right, so that's all vacuumed out now. I've also vacuumed all the seats and all the cracks and the crevices of the leather. It's still like dirty, but there's no big chunky bits of rubbish hanging around anywhere. So it looks more like an actual car now rather than a bin. And what I'm gonna do before I use any leather cleaner on the back seats, I'll just show you. There's like big bits of mud and like a, a, a well, I don't know what that is there. So I'm actually just gonna use an anti back surface wipe just at first on these surfaces be careful i'm going to be careful around here because these are porous surfaces because they're uh, not porous perforated because well actually the fronts are heated i don't think the rears are heated so i don't know why i think i think they've just done that so that it goes with the rest of the car but nevertheless we can't turn these on and heat it up to evaporate any fluid so you just got to be careful around these bits but i'm just going to get a quick wipe down uh, wipe down some of the plastics as well and i'm going to wipe down in the front all well, this bit here because that's rank so i'm just going to do that right it doesn't really show on camera because the camera can adjust the light but it is getting a little bit darker now so I don't want to get properly stuck into trying to clean the seats and then getting really cold and really dark and I'll be stuck out here all night. So we'll catch up on a different day and it'll happen just like. So everybody, welcome back. It's probably been about over, it's been over a month since the first recordings of this video. So I'm finally going to get the chance to, uh, to finish it. Since then, we have been to Autosport International. That was the previous video. If you want to go and check that out, that is really good. We had a lot of fun, a lot of nice cars. So yeah, go and check that out. Other than that, the rear driver's side tire had a really slow puncture. Uh, so that's now what I went to take it to get repaired. It turns out it was uh, the rim was leaking through the valves. So that's been resealed. Tenor job done. So that's absolutely fine. It's only really the ABS sensor now that needs changing, which we have diagnosed which one it is. We have got the part ready. That should be a video coming soon. But anyway, let's carry on with this one and uh, let's get it, the rest of it properly clean, shall we? 
Right, so first things first, I'm gonna be doing all the plastics in the interior. What I'm gonna be using for this, which might be a surprise actually, is this Auto Glim Interior Shampoo. Now, I'm gonna use this because it doesn't only just clean fabrics and things like that. It can be used on your plastics as well, which, one, it smells really, really fresh, and two, I'd rather use a spray so that I could just like spray it onto the surface or spray it onto the cloth and get a proper wipe down instead of using some um, like disposable wipes, that kind of thing. I will say I have also done the insides of the glass as well with Auto Glim Fast Glass, so I have done that because I just couldn't see and I knew I needed that to when I were driving to uh, Autosport. Quick tip though, if you're gonna do any like, uh, like upholstery cleaning, carpet cleaning, anything like that, then you know you need to clean your plastics. Do your plastics and everything first, it's above that level, so it's not down at like seat level. It's like on your dash and up above and things like that, and your doors. Because once you're like, how can I put it, you're wafting like dust and things around and particles and grit. So really I should have done that before I hoovered, but I've done it now. But do that first and then everything can come off it that flies through the air, settle on everything else, and then you're cleaning that anyway. So yeah, that's a tip I've worked out the hard way. I will just say, all this time I've been driving in a position like, you'll understand if you're a tall person driving a Mark 8. Um, an 8th gen Civic. There's not a lot of headroom and sometimes it's hard to see the actual um, display as you can imagine if you're a bit higher and you've got all like your revs and everything you've got if your lights are on whether you're in the kit all that kind of stuff there you can't see and on the Type R it has adjustable um, steering column which there's a big trigger that comes down here and on this one they didn't want but then I was just cleaning while well, having a look underneath there's a little tab here now why they changed the design I do not know but that must be the steering surely does it move up? Oh my God, yes it does. Right, so we'll put that to maximum, shall we? That's gonna make it 10 times easier now. Especially when like, your knees are bashing as well when you've got long legs like me. Right, so now all the interior trims are done, I'm gonna start working on the leather. There are like other leather bits in this car other than the seats like around here as well, the armrest is leather. So we will concentrate on all that and try and get all that done. But what I'm gonna do for this video is just to show you guys if this product works or not and what it can do and what procedure I've done to do it. I'm just gonna do these back seats because then it's easier for me to film here whilst I'm there working on it so you can't just see the back of me and not see what's going off. I picked up this bristle interior brush from Halfords. So we're gonna be using that on the leather, uh, mainly on these solid bits, not on the perforated bits. Well, we can use it on the perforated bits, just we, we can't use a lot of products because obviously it will go into these dots and then it'll just sit there. It's not so bad on the front because they are heated seats so they can dry out through the holes. So we've just gotta be a bit careful on the back ones especially. And then we're gonna apply some leather balm and uh, look after them, see what that does. a bad idea. Come on now, once I've used this, this uh, cleaner as well, I'm gonna be using another microfiber cloth, different ones what we've been using on the plastic, so we can wipe it all down, getting it ready for the leather balm. So I've never done this. Um, yeah, that way, we'll go that way. So I'll spray on these bits, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try and not spray on them bits. Oh, shake thoroughly, let's be thorough. Oh, oh god it shoots. Oh I've got it all over the friggin' tripod. I'll spray some on here as well. Just wipe that section down then. Ooh, grippy. I thought it'd be really slippery, but it's not. I don't know if you can see that, but that's like the dirt that's just been coming off that leather so that shows you how much she's worked out that and that's not even perforated so I can't imagine the dirt that's going to be stuck in these holes. I'll show you the difference from it just with a clean shall we. So this is like the manky horrible side there you can see all like the dirt and the cracks and everything and manky shine to it and then ooh, it does still have a shine to it but it's a lot more satin than like really high gloss which is what I'm trying to get to. It's definitely definitely bringing it back to its former glory. 
no more dirt on it, smudges or anything like that. Let's just sort the rest of it out and see how we go. Another day's actually passed. We've been quite lucky actually because we've had two like sunnyish days in the middle of January. No, February, flipping it, what month is it? <laughs> now that these rear seats are clean, I've also done like the door leathers and things like that in the back. Uh, we're gonna have to care for the leather, so we're gonna use the Auto Glim Leather Balm. And what you're gonna look at it as is that leather has, it has come from a living animal. Apologies, vegetarians, I know that's a bit horrible, but that technically means that it needs to be looked after like you'd look after your skin kind of thing so the balm it says it like feeds the leather and like plumps it back up and gives it its moisture again which i'm eager to see how it turns out to be fair so um he says you can use it as like a special it looks like a shield shape um auto glim applicator um, or a cloth but i'm just gonna use this sponge shaking it well like it says gently massage it into the leather and obviously be quite sparing with it when you're doing the perforated section so you don't all mush into the hole. Should see it quite quick how it changes, but um, 48 hours is like the perfect cure in time. So Type R's gonna have to stay out for a little bit. Mm. Anyway, let's crack on and uh, see the results. Okay, so that's all of the rear done now. The rear seats are done, the door leathers have been cleaned and balmed. Uh, these backs here have done as well. Look, that looks like brand new on the back of that seat. There's no like, there's like a slight shine to it, but nothing like uh, that the old weather look where it's been rubbed and rubbed and rubbed from use, uh, where it goes like gloss. It's like a nice finish again. And if we look at the seats, I, I appreciate it's really hard to see like on camera what the difference is. But if I show you something like a bit finer, if, if I zoom in and just show you this piece here, like there's all these stress marks here that's in the leather. You can see that it's still all the same color, if you know what I mean, the same kind of shade. There's a few rough patches here and there, but not that much. But then even up, even up here, up on the side, it's all like one shade, even into the um, perforated leather, it's still all like one nice shade. Uh, if you look at, if you're looking at the front, you'll notice like where the stress marks are, where, where it's dipped in, where the, the marks are, it's like rough and matte and a really light grey because that's the leather that's just been completely wrecked and then the balm gets into all those cracks and things like that and, and makes it all of the same quality again. Like we said, like well, what it says on the bottle, it feeds the leather, so it's like back to its original state. And on the front is like a real, it's like a lighter grey as well. It's like a light glistening grey, whereas like on the back, it's a lot more of a, a deep black. Tons better. I mean, oh, this middle, this were disgusting. This armrest, and now look at it, banging. Now, as you just say on the bottle, it takes like 48 hours to properly cure, so it's not a true, true comparison, but it's probably best we're gonna get. I'm not filmed doing the front seats because it's pretty much the same kind of thing and I wanted to keep some the same and some um, refurbished so that you could see the difference basically. If there is any difference to see. <laughs> there is in real life, I promise. But either way, if you found this uh, useful or helpful, if you wanted to see what you can do with your leather seats yourself or any leather in your car, I hope this can be a video that you can use to help you do it. If you do like any of my videos, please like and subscribe to the channel and click the little bell button so it reminds you when a fresh video does come on. I don't mention enough in videos, but often, most of the time, um, I put photos on of what I'm gonna do in next videos on social media. So that's on the Facebook page, FN Lou Facebook page, or on the Instagram page, which is FN underscore Lou. I'm sure it is, yeah. But yeah, get onto those if you want a sneak peek on what the next videos are gonna be before they actually come on. Until next time, guys, like I always say, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Oh, wait, wait a sec. Um, let's do a bonus steering wheel one. Let's do that.